Welcome back, America. Welcome to Sons of Liberty 1773. This is indeed where men and women from around the world gather in defense of liberty. I am your host, Bill Bailey, who will be channeling the patriotism of America's founding fathers. So before we get to the news, and, and I got a lot to cover, folks, stay with me. Why don't I share this quote from John Adams? This is from um, a letter I believe he penned in 1774. A settled plan to deprive the people of all the benefits, blessings, and ends of the contract, to subvert the fundamentals of the Constitution, to, to deprive them of all share in making and executing laws, will justify a revolution. Will justify a revolution. Uh, so when they tear our Constitution down, and they come out after our life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, it justifies a revolution. Uh, yeah, I think it does. I think it did then, and I think it does today. Um, man, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so the um, emerging, emerg, emergency alert system, EAS, was triggered today at 218. They said 220. Uh, we were watching a YouTube video, and it didn't it didn't show on the TV, but it did ping our phones, uh, Renee and I's phone. Um, why now? Russia's doing one too, a nuclear alert system. Um, I suspect for two reasons. One is there's a big ass false flag coming to try to get us into World War III because they're, they're, they do not have the people behind this war. We do not want this BS war uh, between Ukraine and Russia. We don't, I don't like that we're sending them billions of dollars of arms. I don't like that we were involved in a soft coup that put Zelensky in power um, and created the problem on the Russian border in the in the you know the war we're in now. And we are in World War III. Um, it's proxy war, but they want to put boots on the ground, American boots. And to do that, they need to win over the people, much like because um, uh, we didn't want to be in World War II, folks, until Pearl Harbor. Uh, and none of us, I'm thinking, wanted a war in the Middle East. Uh, until 911. Uh, so what you know, I, I'm concerned that there's going to be an event. Um, maybe it's going to be um, a total grid down thing. Uh, so whatever it is, they're going to blame Russia. We've got to go to war with against Russia. Uh, you know, and I think Russia has been pretty patient with America after we blew up their gas line and we're um, uh, arming their enemy. And of course, they did that to us in Vietnam too, right? Um, so the emergency alert system went off. People were geeked out. Oh my God! There, if you got the jab, the five G is going to fry you. Come on, people, <laughs> have some have some common sense. Uh, so Trump in a new poll leads Biden by two percent in Pennsylvania, uh, and that's a swampy, corrupt state, right? Um, so I don't think two percent is enough to come over the. Um, the issues there'll be, you know, I think he needs to get that margin up a little better, but it's good. I mean, you know, a lot of these polls lean left. So when Trump's up by two, he's probably up by more. Um, I'm still questioning, um, should make a poll question. You know, are we going to have an election next year, folks? What do you, what do you think? Uh, speaker. So um, McCarthy, who's a com California commie, first speaker ever removed from office in the history of America. He made a deal with the conservatives, and he broke his deal. And the deal was, if he broke his deal, he would be removed. McCarthy wants to blame somebody. Look in the mirror. Um, I did see, however, um, acting speaker Patrick McHenry, if he didn't have that Mick and it was just Henry, I'd be Patrick Henry. I'd be a pretty awesome name. Uh, active speaker Patrick McHenry uh, boots... Nancy Pelosi and uh, Steny Hoyer from their coveted hideaway offices. Why was McC McCarthy let them can't keep them? Why? Why? F them. They're freaking communists destroying this country. Give them any preferential treatment. Um, so who's in the race? Um, so Jim Jordan and Steve Scalise have both put their name in the hat to be speaker. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and some other ones want Donald Trump. And I thought, well, you can want him. He ain't going to do it. But then Trump was asked, 
would you consider being speaker? He goes, if it helps my country, if that's what I need to do, yes. Wow, huh? Trump is actually considering being speaker of the house. Um, Trump actually retruthed a meme of him at the podium as speaker with the gavel, getting ready to slam the gavel. Trump could bring the ruckus to Congress. Um, I don't think he will. Uh, but the problem with Trump is there's a there's a there's a percentage that would say, well, he might by you know twenty percent, maybe maybe he would, uh, and it drives the rhinos and the and the left nuts. So I I think I think that's more why he's um, doing it. So the state of the art Orwellian techno supercharged uh, police state is growing stronger and stronger. All the police states of the past, all the totalitarian regimes are going to look um, like ancient history, prehistoric technology back then. They've got facial recognition, AI. They can monitor your social media. They have, The police state of today would have everything about you, where you travel, what you eat, what you do, who you talk to what your political leanings are. Every post you ever made um, used to be, you know, turn in your neighbor. AI's got you, you know, the um, uh, these fusion centers. Uh, they, they know who, who the patriots are. Um, and so the police state that's forming will bring terror to humanity unlike anything that's ever been seen in the past. Truly, truly evil. Um, so what's the police state up to today? Well, apparently they have, um, uh, um, the FBI is covertly, on the sly, created a new category of extremists. Uh, can you guess who it is? Wow, you guessed right, mega, mega supporters. Trump, America, make America great, make America great again are the enemy of the police state. Biden said it at the, um, when he defiled Independence Hall, that holy ground, and stood there with his eerie red lighting and said the greatest threat to democracy is the mega Republicans, and we need to get them. Well, you know, the FBI's making good on that. They're, they're getting ready. Can you imagine if we don't win 2024, what's gonna to happen to this country, folks? 20, November 3, 2020 was a coup that mirrors very much um, the Bolshevik Revolution of, of 1917. And Tucker Carlson just read a book, and I think I'm going to find the title of it and order it. It's in English print now. But this guy was talking about um, how he was out of the country, and when he came back, the revolution was, was well on its way. And people were wearing these red ribbons in support of the Bolsheviks, and they ended up killing a lot of them, by the way. Um, said, yeah, you know, you might be with um, us, uh, but we don't quite think you are, so we're going to have to kill you. Um, but anyways, um, how people middle class were at the theaters enjoying movies, like, you know, nothing's happening. Literally, as the, you know, Russian troops were raping and murdering people, and their whole country was on fire. Uh, they just didn't see it. Um, you know, there was Operation Truth when the Bolshevik Revolution started. And it said, don't worry, you know, this looks bad, but the military's in control. Where have you heard this before, folks? Uh, it's all in good hands. You don't need to get involved. Don't rebel. You know, it's good. Uh, it's, it's a QAnon stuff. So when November 3rd happened, the QAnon stuff came out. Silencing of our First Amendment rights, big tech immediately deplatforming people, banks deplatforming, uh, patriotic companies, uh, completely orchestrated, and it's continuing, folks. It's continuing. Look what they're doing to Trump. This Letitia James and this clown loon judge in New York are just going to try to steal from Trump. They're complete criminals. The fraud is being committed by this crooked judge and Letitia James. They should be in prison forever, ever, um, saying, well, there's nobody, there's no victim. But, you know, I, I kind of think he, he committed fraud somehow, 
well, I'm going to say that he overvalued his property. And then they commit fraud by undervaluing Trump's property to invent evidence. Trump did nothing wrong. And there's no jury. Trump did not have a right to a jury. It's just this judge. Uh, and he's going to say, well, yep, yep, by God, you did. You committed fraud. This is the judge that said, well, jury trials, you know, whenever I've had them, they don't get them right. And I have to put my own opinion in Trump um, or, you, you know, hate to use that term, uh, pardon the pun, but his decision was superior to the, um, the jury. So he just, you know, I don't feel like they got it right. Actually, they probably did, but I don't like it. So I'm going to make my own decision and, um, uh, and overrule the jury. The guy's a wacko lefty. Um, this is where our country is now. And they want to take Trump Tower. They want to take Trump's assets. They're just going to show up with the police and say, you know, we're foreclosing the judge due to a court order. Uh, this property has been se being seized by the state of New York. Complete and utter effing theft, folks. Pisses me off. I can't imagine how pissed off Trump is. Um, I'm glad McCarthy got the boot. He's going to show his true colors now when he votes, by the way. Uh, he, gave the, he gave the Democrats a year the funding of everything they wanted. The war, the 75,000 IRS agents, armed IRS agents, uh, all the social and climate, every, everything. He funded that for a year. McCarthy. You know, last time we shut down the government, the Republicans, we won the Senate. We picked up seats. Uh, they want to say, oh, my God, you know, um, you know, the Uniparty. Oh, if we do that, you know, we won't win. Uh, yeah, well, that's not what history shows. Um, seven, I don't know if I said this or not, 750,000 health care workers go on strike. Uh, biggest health care worker strike ever. And as the UAW workers continue to expand the plants they're striking at. Listen. Going to get the world is going to get dark and ugly, folks. We are we are in the storm. Uh, this country is under assault. Every one of our sacred institutions is corrupt as hell. There's no honesty. There's no justice. There's no truth. Uh, when you look at the eight Republicans that voted with the Democrats to remove McCarthy, that showed you the rest of the Republicans are nothing but effing swamp monsters. Eight people is not going to save this country, okay? Um, we need Trump, and we need him back in the White House like yesterday. Um, the speaker thing is interesting, because um, Trump could still run for president and be speaker and then be president. He could why, he, he'd be the, the speaker over, overseeing the uh, Biden impeachment. Uh, it would be, it'd be interesting to watch, but I, I don't think it's going to. Uh, it's just a, a mind play at this point by Trump. Trump is going to be president. That's where the power is. Uh, and that's where he's going to s save this country and undo all the evil that this regime's done, most of it through executive order. Uh, so Trump can right those wrongs on first day in office. Uh, I believe he's going to immediately meet with um, Putin and Zelensky, and there's going to be a peace deal. If, and it's a big if, folks, if this evil bastard... Um, the evil bastards in the Biden regime think he's just a puppet. Um, don't have us in World War III before, before next November, the, before the election next year. Uh, it's a real concern. Uh, and I'm prepping for just that. Um, a better prepare for, I'm better, I feel better preparing for a worst case scenario. And if nothing happens, fine. No harm, no foul. Um, but I hope, I hope you're all prepping. Uh, so keep praying and keep prepping. I will see you in the next video. And um, I will someday introduce you to our new family member. Shared a couple pictures, but I'll get her on video. Um, we went with Nutmeg because I wanted Liberty for our new puppy, she, uh, because I could call her Libby. Come here, Libby. And I like Liberty. Um, but Renee has a chicken named Liberty. And she said, well, you're not naming her. We can't name her after one of my chickens. Uh, and she does look like nutmeg. And uh, Ginger was a spice girl. We named our one dog. Uh, we like the spices. So Ginger and now nutmeg. And uh, nutmeg is a ball of joy. Uh, you got to watch her all the time because she's trouble. Uh, but she is um, uh, a wonderful 
pooch. I'm so happy to have her, and uh, it helps uh, with the healing from losing Mocha. Nothing like getting a puppy um, to deal with the pain of losing a dog. Get another dog. Uh, I love them. So I'm, Renee and I are animal lovers. All right, I will see you. I've rambled on long enough. Bye.